us on Fox 54 News. I'm Julia Smith. You may have been living here for years or were even born here, or you could have just moved to Huntsville a week ago. And if that's the case, then welcome to the Rocket City. But no matter what walk of life someone who lives in Huntsville comes from, there is bound to be someone in every group who doesn't exactly know what goes on at the Redstone Arsenal. Nixon, you were at the Redstone Arsenal update today. So tell us, what is the Redstone Arsenal? Okay, Julia, I attended today's luncheon where it was very clear that not only has the arsenal served as an economic baseline for the city of Huntsville, but it's also played a role as the heartbeat of the city. Again, economically, but also in innovation. Take a look. For starters, what is the Redstone Arsenal? There's so much that goes on out there. Things that impact us from a national, international, and quite frankly, intergalactic type of environment, whether it's missile defense, whether it's space, whether it is the intelligence community um, or law enforcement. There is so much that goes on out there. It truly is a federal campus of excellence um, that uh, used to just be basically Army, but now there are so many. I think they announced uh, 70 plus tenant organizations out there uh, that do a tremendous amount for our nation. Okay, so maybe it's not that simple of a question to answer. But basically, what the arsenal is, is a culmination of defense organizations that all occupy the same space. Smaller organizations and businesses also occupy this space and help support these tenants like NASA and the FBI, for example. This not only helps create mutually beneficial relationships between tenants, organizations, and the community, but also a breeding ground for innovation. Redstone really leads the way in innovation. We started out with where we're at by, you know, putting the man on the moon, basically. Like, hey, you could put a man on the moon, look at, look at what we're doing here, and we've kind of taken the ball and run with it, whether it's missile defense, army aviation, and I think the companies in town have taken that ball from our organizations and they said, hey, run with it, and, and we've done that part. And so you'll see a lot, of, a lot of companies here start their own innovation lab or innovation center because their, their customers on Redstone, they have that, they have that need, um, and it's just kind of working together in that. And the arsenal has not only paved the way for innovation here in the Tennessee Valley, but the arsenal has also supplied the Tennessee Valley with a lot of employment and a lot of economic growth. Well, uh, all of these other organizations that come in, the Mazdas, Toyotas, the Toyota Motor Manufacturing, uh, Polaris, all of those, those have come along afterwards, but that baseline capability that, that Redstone provides allowed Huntsville to be successful and to grow into those types of activities. And so uh, the arsenal is still an incredibly important, both economic engine for Huntsville, but also a national capability to help us defend our nation. For more information about the arsenal and the impact it has had on the Huntsville community, head on over to fox54.com. Live in the studio, I'm Nixon Norman with Fox 54 News. Back to you, Julia.